Okay, welcome back to my channel. Today, what we're gonna go over is the build of a dropper loop jig. I'll show you all the measurements on where these pegs are. And then we'll go over making uh, a dropper loop. Total length of the board I have is 26 inches. You can make it two foot. From this nail to the edge of the board, is three quarters of an inch and it's inside is an inch and an eighth this next peg from peg to peg is three and three quarters and it's three quarters from the edge now the rest of these pegs are going to be a half inch from the edge so from this peg to this peg is two inches. This peg to this peg, four inches. This peg to this peg, eight inches. Four inches and five and seven eighths. These pegs are directly in the middle at the four inch mark. Two and a half and five and three quarters. The nails, uh, I ground down, actually uh, ground off the heads. All right, so let's get started. Here's our mono. I'm using 20 pound. What we're gonna do on these two pegs, we're gonna wrap it around until it gets just past this peg, pull it off, and we're gonna make our sinker loop. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make, it, make another smaller one. And I'll show you why at the end. It's actually for two reasons. Okay. So at this knot, what we're going to do is we're going to form our triangle. We're going to go around this triangle for this size dropper loop. So we're going to go around. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take that little loop from the sinker loop... We're going to hook it on this far end nail. Now, as you can see, there's two parallel lines. What we're going to do is we're going to go overhand six times. One, two, three, four, five. Now we have this opening. Here's our twists. We're going to take this loop here and we're going to put it through here and then put it back on that nail. Now, all we have to do is pull these off and pull tight. And that's gonna form our first loop. But we don't want that one to come off. So what we do is now just start pulling each tag end. You don't wanna pull on there, you just wanna pull side to side. As you can see, it's a perfect dropper loop. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take this nail, this tag end off, that nail, and we're going to go from this dropper loop around again. And then we're going to hang this loop on that far nail again. Now just repeat the process. And you could do this with endless amount of hooks uh, for trout lines and stuff like that. Um, for me, for porgy fishing, blackfish, stuff of that nature. So again, one, two, three, four, five, six. S slide it through, put it back down. Take your two ends, slide it off, leave that one on the nail. And again, pull from side to side. And this will always be the same size loops. So now what you want to do, this was the second dropper loop. Make sure it's around all the nails. Just measure it to the side of that nail. 
Now what you want to do is from over here, cut it. And this is where you're going to attach your swivel. And of course you're gonna trim off all these little tag ends and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna do that for right now. So as you'll see from the sinker, we have about a foot, 12 inches, uh, which is a foot. So maybe 14 inches from there to our first dropper loop. Then you can put your hook on there. Another foot to your other dropper loop. And then roughly 18 inches to where your swivel is going to be. Now, here's our sinker, and we're going to put it on normally the way we normally do. This doesn't want to separate. So right, so what you're gonna do is then you're gonna put it through. And then basically, you get the idea. So what you're gonna do, once it's through, the weight's actually gonna hang here. This tag end, you'll be able to pull, which will open this back up. And that's it. And like if you were, the current's a little bit stronger, you wanna put a heavier weight, then you just do that. But that's it. You know, put her through. There's your tag end. Pull your tag end. Opens right up again. Change your weight. That's all there is to it. That is your dropper loop jig board. Thanks for stopping by, y'all.